Hello and welcome. Unfortunately, this is my last target collection. Unless I buy some more. But anyway, let's take a look. I have two doctors here as... I'm not really keen on one of them, so I thought... I've only got one book on him. So let's take a look at what I have. So here are... The two doctors... Silver Nemesis and <coughs> excuse me, the greatest show in the galaxy. Two Fantastic Seven Doctor stories. I've also got the members of Daleks, but I have that in my 50th anniversary collector's books. So, anyway, let's take a look at these individually. So, as we know, the Six Doctor comes first, so let's take a look at him. I bought this just because I like the two Doctors. The rest. I'm not really keen, to be honest. I'm not a big doctor. I'm not a big fan of the Sixth Doctor. Um, the Attack of the Cybermen and Tam Lamani, or is it the Mark Lamani? Mark Lamani, yes, Tam Lamani, the Seventh Doctor. The Mark Lamani were pretty good, and this one, but the rest, nah, didn't like him. So let's take a look on the top. The One Hundredth Doctor Who novel introduced introduced. I can't even speak. Introduction by Jonathan John Nathan Turner. I was going to say Jonathan Nathan Turner. But uh, yeah, that's his full name, isn't it? Uh, Doctor Who gold logo for the fifth and sixth doctors. The two doctors. Got two TARDISes. There's two doctors in it. And um, we've got a very disgustingly looking Sun Taran. Uh, first edition. Robert Holmes. And the usual target book. Um, I don't know if this is a Virgin reprint. Tell me in the comments below. Because uh, I usually. I th I always think that these logos here are the um, Target reprint Virgin novels. But anyway, uh, this is number 100 as it says on the front. On the back, you have usual stuff, you're uh, distrib distributed by your usual um, rubbish there. UK £1.75, Australia $4.95, Canada $4.50, New Zealand Six dollars and fifty cents. Um, don't know about America or Malta, but anyway, here we have Distru disrupted by the time travel experiments of the evil Distari and Ch Chesney. I can't even read Chesney, Chesney, the Time Lord, second send the Doctor, send the second Doctor, excuse me, and Jamie to investigate. Arrive on a station in deep space. They attack by a, they attacked by a shock force of some towns, and the Doctor is left for dead. And then, damn, I can't be asked reading the rest of them. But this is an interesting book. It's not the best book I have, but it's the best six doctor book. The um, book I have, because I haven't got any more. Uh, published nineteen eighty five. Usual rubbish there on this, and then your usual rubbish on the back. Exclusive offers to readers. Um, next. Silver Nemesis, another fantastic story. Many people doubt this story, but I don't. This is basically celebrating 25 years of Doctor Who, and I've got that on a book, 25 years of Who. I'll review that short soon. I'm still doing my audio reviews, but I haven't got to do them yet. I've only done one. Uh, anyway, we have Sylvester and Sophie, and we have Cyberlady there, and nice question mark number there. Doctor Who Silver Numbers is based on the Doctor Who Venture first broadcast in 1988. Seventh Doctor logo. Seventh Doctor logo on the back. It's all over. Ace, I've lost. I can only surrender. The Cybermen will have the Nemesis. Quote there from the story. You have a lovely, lovely bit of very small blurb information about the story. Unlike this one, that's much bigger. So, if you were, let's say, um, not very good at, with your eyesight, well, basically, you're screwed for that one. I am very sorry to say, but I'll read it for you guys just in case. So, launched into space 350 years ago, a meteor is running, uh, running to Earth, returning to Earth, sorry, inside it. Waits Nemesis, a silver statue made of the living metal Validium, the most dangerous substance in the universe. 
Evil powers await the statue return. The neo-Nazi Deflores and his stormtroopers, Lady Pain Painfort, who lost Nemesis in 1638, and the advanced party of the Cyberman invasion force. But only one person has the power to activate Nemesis, the statue's creator, the Doctor. In this story, the Cyber Leader is played on screen by David Banks, who is the author of recently published Doctor Who New Adventures, a novel iceberg. You know, I never knew that. Uh, target box, box, books, uh, from Doctor Who, there's 8 million copies sold, UK £3.50, uh, you basically get the rest, USA, Australia, don't know about Malta or Canada, did they sell them there? Tell me in the comments below. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at in there. Doctor Who, Selma Nemesis, um, Kevin Clark, number 143 in Doctor Who Library, published in 1993. Um, anyway, yes. There's a couple of blank pages on the back. There's about three, four, but anyway, that's good. So on the back we have, on the back, the next I mean, we have The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, Doctor Who Sample Over, based on Doctor Who Adventure, first seen and broadcast in 1988, Stephen White, uh, you've got a lovely cartoonish picture there, of Seventh Doctor, three statues and the circus, on the back, got a bit of information, Doctor Who, creepy voice, you never saw the clown's real face, uh, you've got a bit of information there, you can read this this time, UK 299 I think this is a bit older let's take a look 144 first published in nine, Great Britain in 1989 this edition first published in 1991 so yes a couple of a couple of um, years before the other one but yes these three are fantastic so yes, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and this is my last Target review, so bye for now.